Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. General reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. As an added benefit to our members, the event is entirely and 100% free, only though exclusive for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it free again for all annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up and or attending this event, DM T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys today as one of our head moderators, Joe Kelly, who does his weekly technical analysis and how-to series every Sunday, talks about how to avoid piking a setup and trading basics. Now, while today is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Hey, everybody. We just got done with the Q&A, and I saw a few questions about uh, some good topics here. And... One I want to go over is the question was, I'm exiting too soon and end up uh, I end up either missing out on a lot of additional profits um, or I never end up getting the size that I want in the trade to get all together. like they they nail the starter, you know, and you never end up getting, the size that you actually want. So I'm going to analyze my trade on BYND um, on Friday, and I'm going to show you how I did this because I had this exact same problem mentally, and here is how I personally worked through it. Now coming into this day right here, here's what we're looking at pre-market for the full day. So we're slightly gapping up from the previous close. We have that strong morning push. I get short into this open candle. So what I did was the short that I took on BYND here into this open candle, I sold, or I'm sorry, covered half of it right here, okay? So I shorted in that candle there. And I didn't get uh, at all the size that I wanted, so I only went a starter position, okay? So really for me that was, that was like half of what I had located already. I didn't locate a bunch. I locate as I go. I like to locate as I go. I don't locate a bunch and then I feel obligated to use those shares. I locate my starter and then I base and then I start to work my way into the trade. So here I start um, half of my starter. Okay. You continue to trade the setup as if you had the size. Don't treat it any different. Manage your trade correctly. If you didn't get the size that you wanted, who cares? Move on. Manage your trade as if you are full size, even though it's a starter. Because when you are finally full size, you're going to be prepared to manage your trades much better. Over under 8550 was the was the plan. What that means is I want to see a push to 85.50 and I'll give it over under there up to the really the whole dollar 86 to be honest with you. I had a really wide range of an idea here because there were two key points for me is, you know, intraday over under 85.50 with an ultimate stop if it goes above 86. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC Joining MIC, maybe you're a member already. You have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media. You can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.